Well, today, ladies and gentlemen, we're coming towards the end of uh, this very long series. In this series, we've been talking about the reason as to why I believe you have what it takes, even though you think that you don't. I have reasons to believe, eight reasons actually, to believe that you and I, those of us sometimes who come to that level where we are thinking, we don't have this, we don't have that, we don't qualify. This series and these episodes have been enabling us to be inspired and to be motivated to come to the realization that, wait a minute, we got what it takes. Today, we're going to look at one reason as to why I believe that is the case. Stay tuned. Welcome to the Life Signatures Podcast with Lawrence Namale. Lawrence is a life coach, author, and keynote speaker who loves to tackle different topics on purpose, productivity, and resilience. His mission in life is to awaken all your boundless possibilities available in you. Life Signatures Podcast is dedicated to bring to reality every single person who knows that deep down in their gut, there's got to be more to life than this. And now, here is your host, Lawrence Namale. Life Signatures episodes are brought to you by AfricanBooks.com, which is an online ebook platform that seeks to broadcast the African Christian voice to the world. As such, they have become a hub for African content, connecting African writers and publishers with a global reading audience. Publishing your books on their site is free and easy, with authors having full control over their content and the price they choose to sell at it. I was personally blown away by the concept that AfricanBooks.com is coming up with. Things like... No content from their site or their app is going to be run on laptops so that people can easily copy. In other words, your content as a writer is restricted from digital multiplication or digital copying. So you remain intact with your information. And that concept that I got so blown away with was the fact that in some time to come, in due course, AfricanBooks.com will be starting to announce African Writer of the Year. In other words, there will be competitions in all African countries to figure out who is the best published author. And I also fell in love with the fact that countries can actually compete against each other. You can have African authors going at it after each other. And your book as an author will be reviewed and have some stars and recommended upon that particular platform. The thing is that it's an answer to Amazon.com. You know, with Amazon, what happens? You've got to have an account in the Americas or whatever, or in Europe before you can get paid as an author. But here, the local currency is in play and the local means of getting paid are in play. So to get started, go to AfricanBooks.com as an author or as a publisher and even as a reader if you wanted to read your African favorite authors. Enjoy. Actually, we're going to start with a recap. The first reason as to why I believe you and I have what it takes is obvious, as obvious as it's always ignored. I mean, anything that is so obvious is always ignored by very many people. And you know what? One of the most obvious things today The most obvious thing today is that you are alive. It is easy to take that for granted, that you are alive. And I do believe that for as long as you are alive, you have what it takes to make you to be someone who can make it in this life. So as long as you are alive, you got what it takes to make it in this life. Number two, I believe you have what it takes to make it in this life because you are predestined. 
go back to episode number 1174 also 1173 and listen to those episodes we talked about you being predestined number three the reason as to why i believe you have what it takes to make it in this life is you have desires if you don't then you don't have what it takes but as long as you have desires in your heart desires for things physical things in, 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 invisible you have what it takes because it is from those desires that we start forming things and we start making actions taking action and moving places the fourth reason as to why i believe you have what it takes to make it in this life is because there is a cloud of witnesses around you there are men and women around you who have been in worse situations than what you are facing and they have risen above it they have made it they are not any different they are not any special if they did it you could do it also the fifth reason as to why i believe you have what it takes to make it in this life is that you are healthy you are not in an icu you will not be listening to me if you are in an icu you are not in a hdu you are not in a hospital ward you are healthy don't take that for granted you have two hands two eyes two ears a nose with two nostrils you've got what it takes because you are healthy even if you're losing any one of those things you still have what it takes refer back to point number 1 you are alive the sixth reason powerful as to why i believe you have what it takes is whatever you have right now is a seed whatever you have right now is a seed don't be discouraged because it has not matured don't be discouraged because it not is not germinated don't be discouraged because it's not growing whatever you have right now is a seed and all you need is a conducive environment and some patience and some watering and some maturity and some process before it starts flowering and it starts maturing so you have what it takes because you have a seed probably the seed is a gift a talent or a passion that's it the seventh reason as to why i believe you have what it takes is because your misfortune is an ingredient for your success your misfortune is an ingredient for your success and the last reason number 8 which i'm going to discuss today even as we come to a close of this episodes number 8 you are resilient let me explain this to you some of you in fact when i say you are resilient many people count themselves out thinking that they are not resilient let me just give it to you straight unless you have a rare disease every time you are bruised and some blood oozes out immediately in fact immediately the very minute it doesn't take a second before your body's resilient index goes up goes into an overdrive and sends whatever recovery messages and recovery systems and enzymes i don't know biology and everything that is needed to rectify the situation is alerted and it is dispatched to the very place where you are hurting immediately how about that for natural automatic resilience if that is what happening to your physical body is the same thing that can happen to your mind and to your spirit and to your emotions and believe me ladies and gentlemen i am not in any way belittling your pain i am not in any way thinking that you should you know, just dust yourself up and rise up and move on and get over it no i'm not saying you get over it i am saying you're resilient part of being resilient is suffering the pain absorbing that pain that you cannot explain and in the process you're becoming an antidote in and of yourself the healing is in the pain the recovery is in the suffering the arduous situation you're going through is the makeup of a sturdy robust you you are automatically created to be resilient that's why you're still alive you've not taken your life 
you are automatically and listen i am not pretending in any way to understand the intricacies of the pains that people are going through at this moment in time all i am deriving the point that i'm making today is that the human is one of the most resilient species you ever saw on the face of the earth and that includes you and me in case you did not know human beings were built to be the most resilient creatures on earth we are built to be sturdy we are built to rise up like a phoenix from our ashes we've been littered with very many ashes we've seen very many things come and go very many crises we've risen above each and every single one of them as human beings we are still here we've not been wiped out let me tell you the only thing that is going to wipe out the whole human being you know what that is it is the human that's the only thing that can wipe away the human i mean we've seen the dark ages come and the black plague has come we've seen the hiv coming ebola has come malaria has come every kind of diseases under the sun they have come covid-19 has come and wiped away millions of people in weeks but the human species is still here do you hear of covid today you don't why we are resilient we are a resilient race you are one of the most resilient creatures there ever was and you need to start understanding that you need to start appreciating that you need to start acknowledging that having a mental and spiritual awakening that i am resilient as a human i am resilient and let me tell you as long as you are a resilient human being guess what it means you got what it takes to make it in this life let not your mind fool you you are stronger than you think you are it must have been bob marley who said that sometimes don't know how strong we are until being strong is the only option that we have you are stronger than you think you are more resilient than you think you are more sturdy than you think you are more creative than you think you are more powerful than you think In fact, Marianne Williamson says you are powerful beyond measure. Henry Ford say that if we did everything that we are capable of doing we will literally astound ourselves. There are these things that we have no idea we have going until we are pushed against the wall. When our back is against the wall, that's when we know. And we we do this nearly every year. I mean, we go clubbing and all those things and instead of sitting for an exam I'm, I'm instead preparing for an exam until the very last month the very last week we burn the candle on both sides burn the midnight lamp and we prove to ourselves that we we we, <laughs> we are powerful so the eighth reason as to why i believe that you have what it takes and the last one is that you are resilient you are stronger than you think you cannot have come this far just to fizzle out you cannot have come this far to die without fulfilling the god-given potential and purpose that is inside of you you have come so far to give up you have come so far to throw in the towel You've been alive for so long you've seen quite a bit you've gone through quite a bit and I know probably this latest circumstance this latest situation is very discouraging but you've handled it so far you're still here I champion you I challenge you to tell you that you are a champion you've got more going on don't be blinded by this situation and this circumstance you've got go- you've got a lot on your side going on than you'll ever realize so toughen up because you're a resilient human you're a powerful human toughen up this ones you're toughening up and going through this makes you stronger and therefore you're able to look back tell me one year later you able to look back and the same situation that you're going through someone else is going through and you're able you're able to tell them listen you can make it 
In fact, you become a deliverer. The reason as to why you're going through whatever it is you're going through right now probably is that you should be a deliverer for somebody else two years from now. So go through it as a faithful servant. Seek help if you've got to seek help, but you are already a resilient force. Don't check out. Stay put. There is still some fight left within you. Maybe you don't need a lot of fight. Just some. Just some fight. Just some telling yourself, I'm still here. I'm going to give it one more push. One more minute. One more hour. I'm going to give it one more day. One more week. Just a month. Just one year. I'm just going to give it the next two years. That's it. That's all you need. There is a process of death called apoptosis that when you give up, the brain sends signals to the rest of the body that they are not needed. And that's why they start disintegrating. And that's how people die. But you are resilient. You're not going to die before you see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. So folks, we come to the close of uh, this series. We've been talking about you have what it takes to make it in this life. And I believe you do. In the series tomorrow, in the new episode that we're going to start tomorrow, I want us to start talking about control and purpose. Do we have control on what our purpose can be? It's a very interesting question that I want us to start answering tomorrow. Until then, bye-bye. Thank you for listening to Life Signatures Radio. If you enjoyed today's show, subscribe to Life Signatures Radio on iTunes, Stitcher, or visit our website at lifesignatures.libsyn.com. Life Signatures Radio, fresh, clean, and inspiring.